Hey everybody, hope you're having a wonderful day today. I have a review for you of this solid body mahogany ukulele from Enya, it's a tenor. And we'll get into the specs and some sound samples, but just wanna let you know that this was sent to me, but this video is not sponsored. But thank you Enya for sending me this ukulele. Let's get into it. This is the Enya EUTMS. It has a solid mahogany body. So front, back and sides, all solid mahogany. It has a mahogany neck with an overall satin finish. Rich light fretboard and bridge, new bone nut and saddle, a compensated saddle, drill through bridge, with a one and one half inch tenor nut width. It has a cherry blossom pattern veneer on the solid headstock and covered geared button tuners in the back. Enya notes on the description on Amazon that the tuners are a one and 18 gold agate die cast, so rather than brass or plated zinc alloy, for more stable tuning according to them. It has Diderio J87 fluorocarbon tenor strings, and it's also available in concert size. It also has a memory foam padded gig bag, and in my personal opinion, I think that it would be good for low to medium impact collision situations. It also comes with extra accessories such as a tuner, finger shaker, capo, picks, strap, extra strings, and a cleaning cloth. And the price is $159.99 US, on Amazon. It does have some trouble and it's, it has a lot of mids, I would say. With the tenor, I'm thinking that it also contributes to the tone because of the size of the overall instrument. I will say that the neck does feel a little bit on the heavier side. I don't know if it's because of the covered gear tuners because covered gear tuners have a tendency to weigh the headstock headstock down and it's heavier than the body, but I think Enya does compensate that very well because they have strap buttons here and here, and so you can even out the weight if you're worried about the neck being heavier than the body or just the balance being a little bit heavier on this side than it is on this side. But it's it's not by much, you know, it's something where if, when I say heavy and we're talking about ukes, <laughs> It's really not by much because the uke is a, a, a light instrument to begin with because it's smaller in stature. I think it's something to note whether it would bother you or not. It does come with extra strings, but I like the fluorocarbon strings, uh, especially if you um, like something that's a little softer to the touch. I find fluorocarbon strings to be a little bit softer to the touch have a little sparkle, a little shimmer. It would be interesting to switch out the strings, these strings with the other strings that it came with because then you can change it to the nylon strings and just kind of basically tailor it to your specifications. So I think that's really nice. Overall, the look of this is very pretty, very classic. I do like the fact that it comes in different sizes because not everybody, not everybody, bunny, not everybody, hmm. <laughs> not everybody is going to like the, the concert size. If you are looking for something with a little bit more space between the frets and you're looking for a longer neck and a bigger body, this is a great option for you. I think so because there's a n more space between the frets for your fingers to fit, but the, the neck is not so thick where it's going to be awkward 
for somebody that uh, has smaller hands. If you have smaller hands or bigger hands, you can play whatever size you want. Uh, just you have to find what is comfortable for you. For me, I am five feet tall. I'm barely five feet tall. I'm very petite and um, this doesn't bother me at all. So if that is something that helps you out, <laughs> I hope it does. Now, a couple of interesting things I want to mention about mahogany. The idea of an instrument made of solid tone wood is that it's supposed to age better and produce a richer tone. Some say that mahogany gets deeper and richer in tone over time, and the color gradually gets darker. It also increases the price of the instrument. But the philosophy behind having something that is made of a solid tone wood is that it's supposed to age uh, well over time or better than something of laminate. Is that necessarily true? Nope. Depends upon... Uh, who manufactured it, what materials it, it was made out of, that type of thing. But that is the idea behind solid mahogany, as well as aging and tone production. You can definitely see the chatoyance in the wood. Uh, chatoyance is a jewelry term, but also it's used in um, to describe tone wood as well. It's the shininess, so to speak, of the wood. So that's chatoyance, woo, love that term. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. Really love hearing what you have to say, and I will see you in the next one. Okay, have a great day. Bye.